Welcome back to my channel, guys. Your boy B will be in the building. Get your bag of M&Ms, because today, Royce the 5'9", M&M, Caterpillar. Let's go. I go YouTube. Why go on my W family? It's your boy B.O.B. and we back in the building with another one today. So just like we said, got the dynamic duo. We got Batman and Robin, peanut butter and jelly. We got Royce the Five Nine and Eminem. Bad meets evil. Yeah. Uh, this is the one-two punch. This is the, 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 that's what I call it. The one-two punch. So we checking this out today. If this is your first time on the channel, guys. And remember, don't take nothing to hit the little subscribe button. You know what to do. Turn the little like button blue. Drop a comment. You on the road to 10K? Join the family, man. So no long talking, no delay. So I've heard this song before, but then I haven't really heard this song before. Like I just hear it like once or twice. Like I hear the chorus once or twice places, but I've never sat down and literally listened to the song from front to back on my own. So this is going to be an actual full first time listen for me. So I'm truly excited to get into this reaction and breakdown. Shout out to my comment section. You guys recommended this. Let's get into this one time. I'm doing too much talking. Royce to 5'9". Eminem, DJ, run the track. You will not be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. You will not be able to lose yourself on Skag and skip out for beer during Ooh. commercials because the revolution will not. I like the little smooth bass line coming. This right here for the number one. Number one shit with your number one. You ain't number one, just another one. Now everybody saying that the number one ring me. Mmm. This shit sound like that old school beat. They sound it is about the beef on this. This sound like one of those beats like you would expect them to play this like in a rap bottle somewhere back in the day. So you could tell Royce and M, they just gonna eat this track up with just bars. You ain't number one, just another one. Now everybody saying that the number one ring me alarm. The caterpillar keeps firing. Butterflies keep dying. Ah. Now, for those of you wondering where that initial sample came from, Tennessee, 1982, dancehall hit, ring the alarm, just in case. Because I know a lot of reaction channels have probably reacted to this already. They probably didn't catch everything in this, but there's maybe just, if I could catch something that maybe somebody else didn't catch or, you know, give you a little insight on something that maybe somebody else couldn't get a little touch on because, you know, they may not just have the sufficient info, then you know that's a that's a win for me. Let's get it. I'm a product of Parker Lewis and Kubiak. If I didn't do this, where in the fuck would you be at? Why did they just start it looking like select which character? Ken, Ryu, or let's just say Ryu and Akuma. You might as well say Ryu and Akuma. That's 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 the least to this. You can I don't know. They just starting it like oh select your player. Well, butterflies keep dying. Ah. I'm a product of Parker Lewis and Kubiak. Woo. If I didn't do this, where in the fuck would you be at? No. See, there's a difference between us. What I spit in arenas, you would drip from my penis. I eat lions and sip hyenas. Royce, let's not get past that bar right there. That's pretty. That's very aggressive right there. I eat lions and sip hyenas. Y'all are drip from my. Royce to five nine. Respect. The pen that is Royce to five nine. Yeah, let's go. Caparca Lewis and Kubiak. If I didn't do this, where in the fuck would you be at? See, there's a difference between us. What I spit in arenas, you would drip from my penis. I eat lions and sit hyenas. I didn't even hear that part. But he's saying he spit. He spit in arenas. When he spit, that's what his music is do. Put him in arenas, y'all. I'm just gonna even get y'all out the trunk. You number one when it comes to slaughtered mics. I'm trying to be number one in my son and daughter life. Uh, all you niggas, my little rapper babies. Y'all my children, y'all bit my shit and contracted rabies. Don't you Ay, ay caliente. Ay chihuahua. Ay mami. Ye. Mm. Y'all bit my stuff and contracted rabies. I'm trying I'm out here just trying to be number one in my son and my daughter's life. That's what real men do. Take care of your family, take care of your kids. That's why we doing what we doing to feed our family. Ain't all about the cars and the jewels and trying to be selfish. Nah, we, we just wanna be number one in my son and daughter's life. Y'all still bit my stuff. Contracted rabies. Y'all my little rapper babies. 
celebrate me next to these rappers, baby, that's degrading. My style got so many different facets, I'm switching to so many different passions. I'm skipping class to be fascinated. Ah. My pen is like big. Uh, he switched the flow up when he said he could switch it up and go in this way and go in that way. He skipped class just to focus on his craft. Writing music. Y'all skipping duck school to go hang with girls and hang on the blocks and go do dumb foolish with your boys. He skipped class to go deal with his craft. Different facets, I'm switching to so many different passions. I'm skipping class to be fascinating. My pen is like big pen and shit, just a classic waiting. Your favorite rapper come at me, I just decapitate him. I'll hit congratulating these halfmans who had their highs. These rappers only when they match just because they strategize. I bring adequate to these patterns and here's my battle cry. Ring me. I gotta go back to the even Big Ben line. I'm out here, I'm like Big Ben. When I write, it's fascinating. Like people just be, cause you know Big Ben the clock, when it strikes 12, people be waiting for that to strike 12. So just like his pen, people be waiting for his classic to come out. It's like a classic. Cause people just be waiting for it to come out cause they know when Roy speak, we listen. It is what it is. But shout out to my boy Big Ben. Steelers, Big Ben, but then also, Big Ben, he been rapping Detroit Pistons jersey all day. They from Detroit. Big Ben, Ben Wallace, come on. Y'all did not want to play with those Rashid boys back in the day. Y'all did not want to play with them Wallace boys when they was on Detroit. Believe me. That, that, that's why, there's a reason why they won two championships, bro. Only when they match just because they strategize. I bring Attica to these patterns and here's my battle cry. Ring me. And my words are so powerful. Just like Attica when they had the prison breakout in Attica. Just my words are that powerful like it caused a riot. Yeah, yeah. Um, the caterpillar's firing. Oh, we in a war where butterflies keep dying. Ah, hey, this right here for the number one. Number one, shit with your number one. You ain't number one, just another one. Now, everybody saying that the number one kid think you're number one quick. Number one song, get your number one chick. Number one fly with your number one kick. When it's all done, then your number goes sweet. Hold up, wait a minute, guess what I'ma never do? Show so much respect to you, that I feel like we're friends, so now we're no longer competitors. That could be the death of you. Never let someone who's not as smart as you gas you up and tell you something you never knew. So, quotable right there. Royce don't even spit bars. Royce has spit quotes. Don't never let somebody who's not as smart as you gas you up to do something you never knew. Royces be spitting those lines where, but you know what? I can put this on a card. I can put that up there. Quotables. Not even just bars. Put some respect on. A lot of people out here, they. Royce is so underrated. Royce is so underrated, man. You never let someone who's not as smart as you Cash you up and tell you something you never knew Always stay professional, you always gonna make revenue Don't let people next to you that don't want the best for you It's completely normal Never let people next to you who don't want the best for you Get rid of them fake friends Get rid of them friends who just run you Just because when you get paid on Friday They only run you because they know when they go in the club with you You can make sure them drink straight But they ain't really want the best for you you always gonna make revenue Don't let people next to you That don't want the best for you It's completely normal to hold on to a regret or two I do what I wanna do They do what I let them do Everything these niggas be saying is a fucking lie It's not Y'all do what y'all can do I do what I wanna do And I can say to you that it's real Remember when you praise in the butterfly Don't you ever disrespect the fucking caterpillar Slim Jitty with the smooth, like, okay, I'm up next. My selection is up next. Because he just been standing, like they say, select which character. Right, you just went, nah, Kuma about the spies on the track now. He just been standing nice and calm. So, no one that I just paused, I just seen the time. Royce on the chorus, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So, Eminem about the spies for 2 minutes. Eminem about the spies for 2 minutes. Oh my god. For the number one, number one, shit with your number one. You ain't number one, just another one. Now everybody saying that the number one kid think your number one quit. Number one song, get your number one chick. Number one fly with your number one kid. When it's all done, then your number go swing. You looking at a tiller, the psychopath, the killer, the caterpillar. Don't tell me when I'm supposed to rap a tiller, especially when your favorite rapper ain't even half a zilla. Savage still attracts a banana pillar. Eminem pause, hold on, my. Take a breath. Take a breath. 
Start the car, open the garage, and just out the freaking driveway. What, what is wrong with Slim Shady? Y'all, please tell me what the hell is wrong with Eminem. Let's go back. With your number one kid. When it's all done, then your number goes swing. You're looking at a tiller, the psychopath, the killer, the caterpillar. Don't tell me when I'm supposed to rap until, especially when your favorite rapper ain't even half as ill. Don't tell me when to rap until. Don't put no, I put no cap on how how long I can rap for, what age I supposed to only be rapping at, when your favorite rapper ain't even half as ill as me. But you want to tell me, oh, I can't rap until I'm 40. I don't supposed to be rapping this long. Hold on, why are you in them spas in for two minutes on a track? Don't tell me what to do, bro. The savage still attracts a banana pill, attack at a silver back gorilla. You're having a little trouble fathoming this is actually happening. Like Anderson Silver back when he snapped the shin in half and then had this shit hanging by a flapper skin after he tried to plant the shit back on the mat again. What the F? What the F, man? What is be wrong with Slim Shady, but he just flipped the whole silver boxing to anderson silver the mma fighter i remember the time i remember hearing the broadcast where he was in the fight because he, he usually known for his kicks and at the time he was in a match didn't even know his ankle was broken until he stepped back on the mat and planted that same foot that was broken back on the mat eminem just flipped that whole rhyme scheme from the silver box saying i think that goes back to the line where he said he re he met royce i remember saying this in an interview he met royce somewhere at a concert and it was a line that Roy said that was like I think it was something I'm iller than a gorilla with a peeled banana or something like that that he said and he was like this guy is impressive I think I want him on my team and from then he's like it's hard to find him look where he at now all the just transition and the whole MMA scene huh <sighs> and that's only the first bar let's go with Slim Shady the sin in half and then had this shit hanging by a flapper skin after he tried to plant the shit back on the mat again ah! had to pin on baddie like i lit when they're blinking a lot you copy me but you're not you can't be but a plus my offsprings are this moss i see that thing i'ma squash it and rip the wings of it off y'all can't be butterflies y'all are this moss if i see those things i'ma grab it by the wings and rip it off because you know moss and butterflies they kind of look similar but caterpillars turn into butterflies Caterpillars don't turn into moss. Moths are not offsprings of them, but people kind of just usually have the two, and then most people find moss more gross and everything and whatnot than butterflies. Butterflies are beautiful. Moths are like, people be like, oh, moth, get rid of it. But then you see a butterfly, they be like, oh, that's a butterfly. See the difference? So ring the alarm, pull the extinguishers off the wall, set the sprinklers off Like Jada Pinkett and Queen Latifah to the shingles, come off the roof, wheel shout at the ceiling, slaughterhouse in the building. Will Smith, shout out, Jada Pinkett, Queen Latifah set it off. Pinkett and Queen Latifah to the shingles, come off the roof, Will shout at the ceiling, slaughter. Will shout out the ceiling, he even said shout, the same time. House in the building, middle fingers aloft. Say what I think when I rhyme in ink, and I talk in a language I speak as my mind. Kingpin and penguin combined, spit like it's king of the daughter single. I thought I think I would help you. Ooh, kingpin and penguin combined. As you know, Eminem always favors Smith, DC, and comic book character. He's a big comic book fan. Kingpin and Penguin, two minds combined. That's a real smart mind. King of the Dot, the, um, I think it's a battle rock platform, KOD. You distinguish apart the frost from the cream of the crop. Wait a minute. Hold up like a flashcard. Damn, dog. Zach copying or paying homage. Sad because dad taught you to rap as a damn toddler. Yeah. My dad is your grandfather. Yeah. I have to rehatch. My... Hold on. Hold on, Slim Shady. Sad because dad taught you to rap as a damn toddler. Yeah. My dad is your grandfather. Yeah. I have to rehatch on yeah. you. Come My dad is your grandfather. I have to rehatch on you. Back as a black wasp. Yeah. Half yellow jacket you can't swat up. Sasquatch dancing on top of an ant. Trampled it and stomp it. Smash it and stand on it. Damn it, I can't stop. Stop. Stop, man, Eminem. I don't know nobody else who could have done that. That, that. that cadence right there. That whole rhyme switch. That whole rhyme screen switch, switch up. I, I'm getting tired tongue and all just trying to say it. That whole trample on the on star squash to start from the yellow jacket. When brought another comic book scene into a black wash yellow jacket. Stomp on the on sale like a sasquash. Who? Name me.
one person who even thinks of shit like that. Like, how do you transition from comic book characters into Sasquatch stomping on an ad sale and painting a whole different picture? Who does that? I am so ready to be done with this reaction right now. This song is fire. After rehatch on you, come back as a black wasp. It started right from that, that whole rehatch on you from the, my grandfather. Yep, my father's your granddad. From that whole cadence, he rolled that straight down, that whole scheme. Yeah. Half yellow jacket, you can't swat a Sasquatch dancing on top of an ant, trampled it and stomp it, smash it and stand on it. Damn it, I can't stop it. The rap is a badge, and I'm going in like a tampon in this bitch. It's a manslaughter, stamping out. You wouldn't be slim shady if you didn't have certain lines like that. If you just don't throw them little wild bars in there, it wouldn't be an authentic Eminem slim shady kind of like hard song. If you, when you're going in, you gotta throw those in there, you know. You gotta throw those in there. It's just like the last um, one we did with Royce the Violin, Nicki Minaj, I wanna stick my penis in Uranus. Like those lines, you gotta expect it. It just comes out of nowhere. Grasshoppers, you can't be no rap gods. In fact, you're exact opposite. You make a wax saw and can't hold a candle, but even Danielson wax off. You jack offs need to come to grips like a hand job. The boom bap is coming back with an axe to mumble rap. Lumberjack with a hacksaw. Now that I hear that bar. And knowing this is in 2018, the boom bop is coming back with an ox for mumble rap. This is where it all started for you guys. Mumble rappers, this is where all the problems started for y'all right here. Because this is in 2018. Didn't he drop Kamikaze earlier this year? Anyway, let's finish the song. We could talk about that at the end. The boom bap is coming back with an ax to mumble rap. Lumberjack with a hacksaw. Number one, but my pencils are number twos, cause that's all I do's when I'm poop is my suit and I'm pulling the john like a prostitute when I'm dropping a deuce and when I'm producing them lyrical power movements. These beats are like my saloons, cause these bars always got my stools in them. These bars are like. What? That. Cause that's all I do is when I'm poop is my suit and I'm pulling the john like a prostitute when I'm dropping a deuce and when I'm producing them lyrical power movements these beats are like my saloons cause these bars always got my stools in them these bars are like my saloons cause they always got these stools in them come on man come on this song is fire and he just killed this for two minutes oh my god and I don't need Metamucil to loosen them. Bitch, shit is real like I poop Jerusalem. I'm about to go spinning off the cocoon and I'm cutting you from your mother's womb and I'm flushing you. About to cut you from your mother's womb and flush you. That is petty. It's disrespectful and petty at the same time, Eminem. But let's talk about this track, Caterpillar. Now that I'm hearing this, and it's 2021, seeing what's all happening between. Kamikaze, side A, side B. Eminem is a man of his word. You can, you, you can say what you want to say about him. You can say what you want to say about him. Eminem is my number two favorite artist, next to Lil Wayne. But I will always give props where props to do. When it comes to lyrical, like just excellence, period. Lyrical, writing, rapping, excellence. Eminem, name, just name me somebody else. Name me somebody else. Royce the Five Nine is probably the closest person, I think, can go round for round, pound for pound. There may be some other great artists today. You got Kendrick, you got Cole, you got Joe, you got a whole lot of great other artists out there. But to do the shit what he just did in this track, like, come on, who does those kind of things? You you taking one scheme down to the next, down to the next, down to the next, tying the end of that into something else, tying the end of that into something else, and making a whole different play off of it, then running into a different play, running into a di This nigga was just playing around with this track all day. All day. Peanut butter and jelly. Royce the five nine and Eminem. Name me another better combination and hey, let's talk about it. But this right there for you mumble rappers, I can see now where it all started. Just like he said, they the boom bop bring an ox to mumble rap. This is when y'all decline. Really start. This is when the, 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 the shakiness in y'all's spines out of this when y'all start to realize we might be in trouble. And then when you drop kamikaze. The rest is history. I don't need to say nothing else. Let me know what you guys want me to check out. Let me know what you guys want me to check out next week as our Eminem video. Hey, drop it in the comment section. This was fire. I'm not reacting to any more Eminem today. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm, I'm not doing it. This was too much heat. This was too much heat for me today. I'm going by the beach. I'm going to go take a swim. 
grab me some mangoes, grab me some plum off the tree, and I gone. Peace, health, and wealth, y'all. Be faithful. Always be grateful. Peace out.